Las Vegas, Sandy Castell and Friends. Welcome to Sandy Castell and Friends, produced by Michael Leonetti. Sandy Castell has been entertaining audiences for years on stage, screen, radio, and television. And for the next 60 minutes, she'll be talking with local and international performers, artists, authors, celebrities, and more. With special features like women in music and arts, shopping at Smith's, cooking with Chef Michael, and staying fit and fabulous forever. Forever. Now, let's bring on the host. Here is Sandy Castell. Good morning and welcome to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. This Tuesday morning, July 23rd on KLAV 1230 AM. My special guest today was going to be Carmen McRae's daughter, Janice Barr, but we can't find her. Janice, where are you? Give us a call. Anyway, <laughs> uh, she is uh, got a show coming out. She's in a movie and uh, we saw her over the bootlegger the other night and uh, I guess she forgot to give us a call and come on the show. So, Michael, how you doing? You Fine. reading your little message there from the... Uh, Vegas Follies. From the Vegas Follies. What does it say? Well, they wanted to thank us for a wonderful time that they had at the party, uh-huh. which was really great. That's great. And I feel great today. It's ten after. It's a few minutes after 9 o'clock, and I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. It's Uh-oh. just me and Sandy in the room. There's nobody <laughs> here, which is great. I can take phone calls. I can talk to people. It's really been a blessing. This is really good, and I'm really happy. Well, we actually have some callers in Oh, no, today. we're going to have callers come yeah. in. But yes, this we is do. Real, this is really great. You know what I mean? I woke up this morning. We went out last night. We had a beautiful dinner last night. We went to the Grosso's, and uh, uh, Lisa made uh, filet mignon and uh, lobster tail. <laughs> and Carl uh, made... Uh, they called out and ordered in. They called out. That's what it was. No, I'm only kidding. No. No, but it was wonderful. Uh, we did we did actually go over to Mikhail Vegas last night, and uh, that's not typically a place that... Uh, Michael's not a great big fan of uh, Mexican food. Food, but yeah. he loved the uh, chili relleno and he loved the tamales, so that was good. Yes, you know, today's my dance day with Angelo Moyo yeah, at the too. backstage dance studio, and I know I've been dying to get you to come out to the dance class, Chef Michael. I ain't going to that place. Are you nuts? <laughs> I want to see you do some plies. Yeah, I'll give yeah. you a plie with a right hook. <laughs> Forget about plies. I get on top back at that Harley Davidson. It's, it's, 700 and, it's 765 pounds. Yeah, you, but that you, doesn't take much exercise. Like hella does <laughs> Uh, you, you shovel that sucker around, boy. you got to hold that up. Right. Well, anyway, if you want to join me over at the Backstage Dance Studio, you can meet me at 3425 Backstage Boulevard, and you can call 702-457-7310 to find out about their dance schedule and tell them Sandy Castell and Chef Michael sent you. These people here, they don't want to. They want to sit down. They want to <laughs> watch the television. They want to eat a meatball sandwich. They don't want to exercise. Forget about it. Hey, what are you talking about? i got some ladies that are going to be calling in later that are definitely all about taking care of themselves That's right. at all ages. Yes. Well, you know, at the age of 62, you know, you change. And tomorrow's the big day because we're performing at Siena's again with the great Jimmy Melodore, great, one of the greatest saxophone players ever. And uh, we got a couple new guys in the band. And That's our right. buddy Lou's out there. He was sick. And I know, I, he's in the hospital. No, so. he's out. He's out. Oh, he's I called out. him just now. Oh, see okay. if he can play. Well, Lou, I hope you feel better Yeah, Soon. he's sleeping right now. We so. miss you. Spider. Yes. Spider-Man. Yes. Spider-Man. Yes. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Hey, no Michael, one, we've yeah. got a caller. Who? It looks like it's Mimi. Oh, Hi, Mimi. Mimi. How are you? Mama Najama Erika. Mimi, how are you, sweetheart? I am fantastic. And I wanted to let you know that today is National Lasagna Day. Get out! Um, <laughs> National, the only Irish people love that. <laughs> I thought that would be important to you, Michael. You know, it's funny, Mimi. How did you find out How about that? How did you that? find out about oh, that? Oh, honey, I have sources you wouldn't even believe. <laughs> really? Is this I on the calendar and everything? For goodness sake, what do you know? <laughs> well, you know, it's something, you know, it's amazing with people, with me. Out of all the things my grandmother cooked, that's the only thing, Mimi, I really never cared for. I love raviolis. Yeah. I love raviolis, but... I was never a great lasagna fan, but there are people out there that just go crazy for lasagna. 
you, which is I good. Know. You know, which is I'm not saying it's bad. But me, I'm a ver- I'm a simple guy. I like a dish of pasta. I can eat I can eat macaronis every well, day. What's pasta and lasagna? There's oh, those no, big uh, long noodles. Yeah, right, what are those called? Lasagna. Oh, lasagna. That's noodles. the name of the noodle. You, <laughs> you know, there's over 365 different kinds of pasta. You got fusilli, mostacelli, rigatoni, gappellini. I know, and Siena's you know, has about all of them. They got all of them. I know. Great. When and we, we were yeah, and we going go to there, their deli, we saw them. You know, being Italian, it's like you know. See the church. I was talking to a priest a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> Father Fla- Father Jim uh, Flanagan. Jim Flanagan. And uh, sounds like an Irish guy to no, me. No, he was Italian from Philly, and he was telling me. He says to me, he says, you know, Mike, people don't receive communion that much. And I said to him, if you serve brazut or super sad or a piece of salami instead of the host, more people would get in line for that because. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's Joey Vespi. What happened to him? So, Mimi, so yeah. Mimi, since it's Lasagna Day, National Lasagna Day, do you want to know about Chef Michael's lasagna recipe? I'm afraid to ask because he doesn't like lasagna. I hate it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's very simple. Go down aisle seven at Smith Food King Frozen Food Aisle and it says lasagna. You ever try that stuff? That ain't too bad. I'm telling well, you. Stouffer, he, somebody said Stouffer's Stouffer's is, is good. good. They got some good stuff. You know, today, believe it or not, Mimi, you know, people that support Italian restaurants, all right, are not. Italian people. Oh, wait. What are you talking I'm about? We see you. a lot no, of Italians over there. No. Yeah, I know we do. But the, the, honestly and truthfully, the people that support Italian restaurants, those are all American, you know. And mixture, there's two yeah. commodities in the world today. The number one commodity people buy, believe it or not, is a car. And the second is pizza. <laughs> I'm serious. Every nationality, it doesn't make any difference what nationality you are. You will buy pizza. One of those. One of those, a car, and that's the number one commodity that people buy. Well, so what is your recipe for lasagna, Michael? Come on. What's give that? Us, well, give us your recipe. Well, the recipe, we the know. whole key of, of lasagna is in your sauce. Okay. I'll be honest. Then you have the your, sauce. your sauce. Then you have your regatta, which is the maggio regatta, which is great. Regatta. Regatta. You, you know, regatta cheese. And, I love and the way he says it. Regatta. Regatta. And then it's the same thing. Thing that you use your stuffing your, it's your stuffing for your ravioli so how do you make a stuffing for a ravioli it's your regatta cheese it's your eggs mixed with Loca deli cheese or pecco romano. You got to go with a good cheese, folks. Parsley, garlic, a little bit of salt. Be careful with the salt content because remember the loca deli cheese has salt in it and black pepper and that is and a little bit of cream. Ooh. That is your stuffing for the lasagna. Then you make your noodle and they got noodles out there today, Sandy. You don't have to boil. I know you can get you them. You can bake them. They ba- yeah. they're called baked yeah. noodles. And what you do is you make your you make your sausage if you like sausage or ground meat or turkey if you want to. You know, believe it, I made some great turkey meatballs. I have people and, and you can put vegetables in them too, chopped up vegetables. You can. Yeah. You can uh, people do a spinach lasagna. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's like a quiche. If you know how to make an omelet, a frittata, it's just like a, it's the same thing. Only thing you do is you layer it. So there's like five different layers. Now my grandmother, you had to get on a ladder <laughs> because she had 640 <laughs> layers, and my grandfather had a bustle <laughs> and he had to cut through the lasagna. No, I'm only kidding you. And it was really great. But that's the recipe for lasagna. Lasagna is really not that hard. Uh, can to I make. ask you something? Yeah. Well, you talk about these different cheeses. You said uh, Locadelli. Locadelli. And uh, Poco Romano. Poco Romano. Okay, Great. So tell us. Romano's the good. Is this like. Is this like Parmesan? What yeah, is it like? That's exactly what it is. I made a steak pizza a couple of days ago for my yeah, brother. Yeah, that was your, great. For Sandy's uh, our brother-in-law. And he loves it. And it's, you can always go with Fleming. Now, I, now, Sandy got me a beautiful... You can always pr- go with what? What's it? What did they say? I don't know. You can always go with Fleming a lot. Fleming a lot. You know, like I'm <laughs> happy, but I'm tired today. I want to go. So anyway... Locadelli and Poco Romano. What are they? Well, they're cheeses. <laughs> and they're they're Parmesan cheeses that. So you where do make. you find them? Well, any Italian delicatessen, but okay. not the Siena's. Right. Not because we're playing there. The but Smiths have them too. They got a good cheese, but not that. Oh, okay. Now they don't have that quality because you're but looking at. They have at, a lot of good cheeses. There. They got great yeah. cheeses, but you got to remember that you you're dealing when you talk about that type of cheese. When you talk, that's why you go to some restaurants, uh, Mr. Styles, and you order a fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine is the pasta, but the Alfredo is a cream sauce. The key to that is is the cheese, the local deli cheese. That's about uh, nine dollars a pound, ten dollars a pound. So Mimi's still on the line. Oh, hi, Mimi. How are you? <laughs> well, I'm Mimi. having a wonderful time. I'm just thinking about all the entertainers I know that are named for cheeses. Yeah. Really? <laughs> like who? Locatelli, Joe Locatelli, Joe Romano. I mean, you know. I know. That's true. I got a friend in Philadelphia called Muscles Marinara. <laughs> he was... Uh, 
<laughs> muscles <laughs> marinara. Uh, and then you had little Petey, big Petey, small Petey, medium sized Petey. You know, that's what they did. You know, like in my neighborhood, they I gave mean, you nicknames. Yeah, now, my yeah, whole yeah. name, Mimi, was my nickname, Mike Leonetti. My whole name, because my family was in the Undertaker business, Leonetti's. And we had a slogan we're the last people to let you down. It was a wonderful place. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what happened was Joey Vespi, you better stop playing them drums. So what happened was is that my nickname was my, my name was my nickname. So they would say, "Hey, Mike Leonetti, uh, how you doing?" So the whole name was my name. Now we had guys like Joey Scarlo, because and then Joey Scarlo, because Scarlo's got a head of letters. So he had a curly hair. So they nicknamed him Scarlo. <laughs> then we had then we had this guy named Ernie Bird. He was real skinny. Now I remember when his father died. His last name was Colangelo, Ernest Colangelo. That was his name. When I went to the funeral, I walked up to his mother and I said, Mrs. Bird, I'm so sorry to hear about your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, stop playing them drums. So what happened was, it, but they had nicknames and for years, that was their name. Now we had Joe Le uh, Lemons. His, his his grandfather was, they called him Nicky Lemons. And truthfully, Mr. Styles, no BS in Philly, that name stuck with these guys. And it was Joe Lem and then he had Little Lem and Frankie Lem. That wasn't their name. But that was their nickname. So if you mentioned their last name, they didn't know who you were. <laughs> but if you mentioned their nickname, Nikki Sticks and, and, and Joey the Wrench and Frankie the Frankie the Killer and, and Joey Mozzarelli and Frankie Mozzarella and all that stuff, you stupid. Oh my god, it's awfully thick in here but with uh, most cheese, them, most cheese, them guys, more cheese. Most of them guys are in prison or they're dead. So either way, it don't make no difference. Mimi, we love you and, and we're waiting for you to invite Sandy and I over to your house because we love the way you cook. And the last time I had dinner at your house, it was phenomenal. And I think you made lasagna, if I'm not mistaken. No. No. I, I, you know, really, I am not a lasagna fan, but when I saw that, <laughs> that you know, that it was lasagna day, I said, God, I may have to have some lasagna. Well, I love lasagna. <laughs> I, love I lasagna. love lasagna. Thank you in so the much. morning, every moment of the year. <laughs> Jeez, that's 62. I, it's a shame. Thank you very much. That's my family out there. And Tr Tr Teresa, Uncle Pete, thank you, buddy. Well, thanks well, a lot, anyway, Mimi, for guys, calling I, in and reminding yeah, us of I, National I Lasagna Day. I out of that. Yeah. Okay. And I wanted to tell you, too, again, that we enjoyed going over to see you last Wednesday. Thank you. And if I can get Zena out again, we will do that. Good, good, because we're going to be there. And Jimmy Molidor is going to be yes, playing with the us great Jimmy all Molidor. night long. Yeah, yes. so we're so excited okay. about that. Okay, well, we'll carry on, you guys. Thank thanks you, a lot, Mimi. Okay. And I love okay. Jimmy. Hey, hey, you know, uh, Chef Michael, yes. we've got uh, Dr. Luzad, you know, Dr. Luzad has some really good tips for us from the Nuka method. And uh, doctor, are you there? So what about for headaches and migraines? Julie is a patient whose husband actually sent her in because, listen, when you have a, a migraine headache, you, you just seek darkness. You want the world to go away. It's a life changer. And it doesn't just affect you. It affects all the people around you who are helpless. So our gentle and safe chiropractic procedure, we've seen thousands of people with migraines. And what I do to make sure we can help is I do a two-day workup where day one, you're going to sit down with our doctors who truly listen. We're going to do a complete consultation, examination, full set of x-rays. Day two, patient comes back with their loved ones and listen, if we can't help, we'll tell you. If we can, we'll lay it all out. How long it's going to take, cost, everything. The two-day workup, Sandy, normally $180 and let's make this for the first 20 callers from the date of this show. Uh, we'll do the whole workup for $37 and the office number 702-566-HOPE. That's 702 566 Four six seven three, and again, unfortunately for Medicare, they don't let us give things away like that. We can do a free consult, but for everybody else, we'll do the two-day workup for only thirty-seven dollars. Well, that's great, Doctor Lazad. Thank you. Hi, I Hi, and welcome back to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show. Thank you, Doctor Lazad, for that tip. I love Doctor Lazad. I He's know a great it's guy. great, He's and you nice can learn guy. more about him and uh, more about call. You can call in and get that special for thirty-seven dollars instead of one hundred and eighty. That two-day um, that two-day uh, evaluation. Yes, you need to go to that because right. uh, Jimmy Melador is a pain in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I love Jimmy. I know he's listening in. And you know, you haven't said hello to the Grossos yet. The Grossos, the billionaires. Or the Pascals. Uh, and the Pascals. Or the Pir or Pirco and Jolay. Yes, Jolet Pirco and, and Jolay. You know, yeah, Eddie I gotta... and Sue and Bill and Well, Madeline. the hell with them guys. I mean, they're, they're Grossos friends. They're All not, the gang. They don't give a rat's gang. ass about That's me. Right. Them guys not money teaching. Well, anyway, if you're just tuning in now, you're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. And we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Don't forget to call in at 702 
731-1230. Call me. I listen to Sandy Castell Variety Show with Chef Michael. Love the recipes, love the energy, love the great tickets they give out, love everything. Check it out. It's the best show in Vegas. There's no other radio show like it. This is Sandy Castell and Friends. The phone lines are open at 702-731-1230. Now, here again, Sandy Castell. <laughs> you know, my sister just sent me a picture, and this is really wild. She's got a uh, Harley Davidson here, and it's absolutely stunning. Uh, I just sent you the picture, John, so you can post it up there. And I sent it to Diane so she can post it. But look at this, Chef Michael. That's a beautiful look bike. Look at that. It's not as oh pretty my as mine, gosh, but it's, pretty. it's beautiful. Well, they were the reason she sent this is because Chef Michael, the other day when she was visiting, told her, uh, took her out and showed her his Harley that he has. What kind of Harley is that? A fat it's boy? It's a fat boy. It's a, uh, it's, let's see. 1200 that's a, it's seven it's almost 800 pounds but it's a beautiful piece you know it's a beautiful piece it was it was called grasso's we bought it from the grasso's the grasso's. The grasso's and it was funny because i said the car i tease him all the time i said you couldn't handle that bike you know you're an old man and he says to me and he takes me in his room and he says pick up those bags and they were just nice bags and i pick <laughs> up these son of a bitch and bags are heavy yeah when he opened up the bags was some of his money he says now you know the reason why put i can put them on the saddlebags put them on the saddles the <laughs> cars are very that way you balance out the bike <laughs> well, the guy carries his money from room to room, and I don't know why. He doesn't spend nothing. Hey, now he has a new closet, and I understand yes. it's almost finished. It's almost finished. Yes, it's for Lisa's shoes. We love you, shoes. We love you Carl. And also, I think they added an extra vault, as you said. Right, because <laughs> he, he watches. He don't listen to the program anymore. He watches oh, his Oh, yeah. Own. Now they're watching on their big screen TV. Big screen they television. just plug it into the, the back. Glasses, the glasses! The millionaires! I, I don't know why I, I do that do shit. That. Yeah, so that sounds like fun. But I have such a good time. You know, and we love them. We we people say I don't want to hear about the Grossos. Well, guess what? We love them. And Too bad. The, and the you Pascals. Know what? Speaking of the Grossos, this Wednesday night we are going to be singing and performing. And Michael now has been <laughs> <laughs> has been tagged the comic. Oh yeah, it's so funny. I'm, I, I went down. Thank you, thank you, cousin Frank. Um, yeah, I was down at the where were we at? Where were we? We go? were at the Viva Las Viva Vegas, Las Vegas. Event Center a the, couple of weeks ago. So I got and up. You got and, up there and sang. But before you sang. Well, I told a few jokes. You told a few jokes. And it's up on YouTube. It's so Mike yeah, Lee and Eddie Stano. Somebody taped him and they said, yeah. And I'll tell you, the guy did a hell of a job. I mean, I yeah. was surprised. The quality that looked like I was on NBC. Yeah, of course, but they it, didn't get your approval to do that. So, no, they you didn't. Know, you, but they it's didn't all right. I don't give on. a rat's ass. It don't make no difference to me. <laughs> so now was, he's uh, Chef Michael Leonetti, the stand-up the stand-up comedian. So yes. here's, the best, here's the best part. <laughs> so the girl calls me on the phone. <laughs> yesterday yeah Jeannie. Jeannie Jeannie Bullock yeah sweetheart of a girl she's Bullock. really Bullock so she says to me she says Mike she says I was wondering if you can help us out I said what do you need she says could you do a 15 minute stand up you know which I could do of course so she says uh, we'd love to have you and I looked at Sandy and I says well let me check my you know unfortunately I can't yeah it's because the same night as one of our WEMA events, Wema events. Yeah, and yeah. then I do the cooking so it's impossible for me to do that but and I said what's it pay she said 900 <laughs> so I said okay that sounds <laughs> sounds Fair, but I can't go. But anyway, uh, I want to thank was a Jeannie nice Bullock out to you. Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah. And I looked at it and I watched myself and I said, "Boy, I'm a funny guy." Yeah. In fact, uh, John, it's up on his uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, yeah, you saw yeah, it. We're, we're going to put it up later today. You're going to put it up later yeah. today. Okay, that was cool. Great. Yeah. So it was really a lot of fun. So, Chef Michael, you know, I want to ask you, what have you been doing to stay in shape lately? I've been uh, to stay fit I've, and fabulous forever. To, to be truthful with you, I was over the grasses. Over the grasses. And Carl and I, I help that son of a bitch pick up his money every day, you know, and take it from one room to the other. Oh, come and on, that's Michael. The unless, you're do, unless you're doing pull-ups or something like that, you so know. That's what. <laughs> oh, Carl he just, oh, he just. We won't uh, say what he said, but he's listening. <laughs> he just said, you rat's ass, you. What the hell was that, Carl? I thought we were buddies. One thing about the Grossos, the billionaires. We, we love them. We, you know, I tell you the truth. They live down the street from our house. Sandy's home. I'm just a resident. I'm just I'm just a pool boy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But right. uh, and and in life you meet people. You know, and I got to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen out there, all of us, you know, we, you, you meet friends and then we get burned. If they, if they don't want to borrow money from you or they ask you for, I'm being honest, they ask you for something and, and it kind of breaks our heart, you know, but every once in a while, 
you, you have to you have to drop your guards because there was a time in my life I was I had a, a big wall around me and I was very hurt and I let nobody in and meeting Sandy Sandy had a chisel and she chopped those bricks down and by doing that I see people with my heart today and not my eyes when I first met Chef Michael he says I really don't care about singing I, I don't, don't care about playing the drums I don't care about doing being in the front of the camera anymore and here he is now a year and a half later he's out there he's cooking he's he's doing his comedian comedian but let, me, but let me tell you something for the record uh, yeah. for the record I want everybody to understand something for the record. I was born to perform yeah. but I'm going to tell you right now and I don't really mean to disrespect if it stopped today it wouldn't make a damn bit difference to me as long as I'm happy the, the key is being happy and any key about having money or where you live you know because I we live in a place that you know in the millions but the bottom line I, I get you honey the people are unhappy guys are blowing their brains out they're jumping out of windows and you say I don't understand it you live in a five million dollar home you don't have to worry about your mortgage you got a lot of money what are you depressed about you'd be surprised sometimes simplicity in life and the little things that you love is is more important than making money I'm telling you listen to me and speaking of being in great shape yeah who's calling we've got Roxy Davis oh on my phone. god hi Roxy how are you oh, Roxy <laughs> Davis hey, <Mo. laughs> how are you doing good hi, how Rose. are you Roxy thank you for having me on the show yeah well I wanted to talk a little bit about the staying fit and fabulous forever because we're you know putting together this program and you're going to yep. be part of it so tell me about how you stay fit and fabulous she I counts her boyfriend's money. Would you be quiet? No, no. <laughs> I'm more like watching them race in circles going around the go-kart track. But I love doing all sorts of different things every day. Um, just the other day, we went to a circus extreme boot camp where we were jumping on trampolines and uh, trying to climb up those silk aerial silk. And, really? Where um, did you do that at? It's uh, it's called the studio off of Vegas Valley and I went on Groupon and I found it and it was amazing and I actually went and bought a Groupon to a place called Surf Set because I'm from California and uh -huh. I miss the beach uh -huh. and I used to surf a lot so I went to this place called Surf Set where it was a bunch of surfboards in a huge yoga class and everyone balances on these surfboards they're kind of on these mini yoga balls there's three of them under each surfboard and you really have to use a lot of spatial awareness and core balance and mental focus to do a lot of these exercises right and i did i did so great that they actually invited me to be an instructor oh that's so, cool uh, thank you yeah i took the certification and now I am a surf set trainer every Monday at 6 p.m. I'm teaching the balance class, which is the easiest class. It's 45 minutes. Uh -huh. You do very light. Um, you do some proprioception, some core balance, some Okay, um, now, now come strength. on. What's proprioception? Proprioception is so you have your spatial awareness. You know, if you are unstable with your balance and you need to really focus oh that's kind of like me when i'm in dance class and and i'm doing the uh um, we're doing the plies and we're doing the leg lifts and things like that yes. we do it you know it's uh, isolation and so you're doing it from one side to the other and i notice Absolutely. when i'm on my left leg i'm standing on my left leg and i'm lifting my right leg to do the to do the leg lifts and stuff and and kick my leg out and everything i'm i'm a little off balance but when i stand on my right leg i'm more balanced so it's probably because oh, i'm okay. right-handed or something i don't know <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to take a dance class with you because I'm sure you you are fabulous at dancing, and you are fit, and so I want to be able to take some dance classes with you, and same with you maybe possibly coming to surf set. I'd love to do and that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, men and women are all invited. Good. And they have we'll get Chef Michael out there in his little tutu. You ain't getting me out of nowhere. You want to do something, we'll go with it. You want, to, you, want, uh, you want arm exercises? Come in the kitchen and roll some meatballs with me. I'll show you some arm, arm exercises. Okay, but, but I, I do have to, to I do have to clarify classes. something, Roxy. I'm a singer who dances. So I'm not a dancer who sing it, who sing it, who singers. No, well, who sings. Be, so, you're so very multi-talented. But, but you know, so I've been. I only started doing dance when I was in my twenties, and uh, and then obviously I, I took some time off after I met Chef Michael. I was rolling meatballs in the kitchen, you know, <laughs> and then I put on twenty pounds this last year and a half. So now I'm back in dance class and uh, working out with uh, Angela Moyo and the gang over there. And what I got to say about that is it's really great because Angelo sees that we're all at different levels. We have some very very professional dancers in there who are in shows all the time. And then we have then we have women and men that are in there just you know trying to stay in shape.
shape and keep it, you know, keep in shape forever. Fun. And so um, yeah, and so and I'm of course a performer, so for me it's good for me because it also because I love to dance in my shows. Well, Carl stuff. told yeah. me a story that Lisa Grasso when she like exercises, yes, and she goes like to like golf or whatever that. That, that just this girl golf? does. Golf? Right. When she go, we go golfing. She says, my arm hurts, my back hurts. And Carl gives her, Carl turns around, gives her his, his credit cards. And she goes and shopping. She goes, oh, what a wonderful day. I feel great. And, what, and that has something to do with exercise. Well, she says that it makes her She's feel exercise, better. She's exercising, exercising her right to go shopping. Go shopping, right. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I, I thought, I thought... Miss Grosso is in wonderful shape, and she I think is. golf is one of the best sports, not only for communication and spending time with your friends and family, but golf, you walk so That's far, right. That's and right. you get to take that golf cart if you like to ride it. Right. Um, but I think, Sandy, you have the best of both worlds, because you get to stay fit and fabulous, you get to sing, but then you have Chef Michael, and you have the best recipes That's right. on earth. And, right. and at you the know, same time, you get to go do all sorts of different things. You get to dance, you get to perform, you can right. Just, well, you know, before. Like, and the other, the other thing is, excuse me, Chef Michael, but the other thing is, is it's about a balance. It's not just, yes. it's not just eating the right foods. It's not just exercise. It's about you know having a, a good balance in your mind too. It's a you know that mind body soul is really connection is really great and important. Yes, Absolutely. Chef Michael. Uh, Sunday, Roxy. <laughs> Sunday. I'm, I, I invited a couple special friends, and uh, you're not one of them. But <laughs> I, 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 uh, <laughs> I'm teasing. I think he's leading up to inviting you and Jane Thank Woods. You. Yes, and, 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 I said, yeah. and I said to Sandy, I said, you know, and, and it's amazing with me. The, the Sunday is it's not a party but it's a cocktail party for our very it's just to get a little gathering a little gathering of yeah. people that very good friends of ours yeah. and I want you to know it, you know you guys enjoyed the cooking so much I got such a kick out of you and Gene because <laughs> I'm going to make that chicken uh, Pascal again and I'm making oh, ravi- I'm going to make ravioli Alfredo yeah what do you taste this <laughs> so it's going to be he's fi- right across from me and he's already his mouth is already watering. right and yeah, I like Gene I like I like Gene. even though he's a bald headed bastard I love him he's the <laughs> bald headed guy's got to stick you guys are like brothers. Uh, that's right, yeah. but do I want you guys to come? If <laughs> and you, you and John, <laughs> John Styles, if you guys could come Sunday, we're going to have cocktail hours at five. I'd love to have you if you like. Five, to come. okay. Holy cow! So anyway, yes, thank you so much, Roxy, and I'm yes. really excited. Oh, I want to come out and do the uh, surf set. I think that'll be a lot of fun with you on Monday night at six p.m. Of course, you know yes. that means I'm going to have to get dressed right away and go over to the bootlegger with the uh, Pascals because they always inviting us out to see Kelly Clinton. Over yeah, the as long as they pick up the bill, I don't yeah. give a rat's ass. I'll go every time. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, maybe you can join us out there sometime. Yes. So now, how oh, I would love the, that. the class is forty-five minutes. That's a really short class, really. But when you think about it, that's a long time to be like out there balancing on a surf, uh, a surf uh, oh, board. Oh yeah, you have to balance on a platform. It's about a foot off the ground. What's but, the water? Um, there's different resistance bands, so you can have it hard, e- easy, or moderate, whatever you prefer. Yeah, I think. And it's um. In what you're talking about when close, it's all those it, balls, are those those the, the they're like those little half balls or something that are on yes. the ground. Yeah, they're like a half ball. And then what you do is the ball is down on the ground. It's flat on the bottom. And then the surfboard is on top of it. So it's like balancing like this. So you um, have to really balance Well, your, I'll tell you weight. what, Sandy. Yeah. And, and uh, what's her name, this kid? There's also, they do that in Pilates also. What's this, What's her name, this kid? What's Roxy. It? Oh, Roxy. Michelle yeah. Roxy Davis. Michelle. Thank you. Uh, well, since you. From <laughs> Roxy. Ro- All right. Since you and Ro- Sandy want to go. 702 Rox. I'm sorry. I get it backwards. Since you and Sandy want to go surfing, whatever you people want to do, Gene and I are going to get into his one of his uh, race cars, we'll go cars race and cars. we're going to cruise for chicks. <laughs> so uh, that's what we're going to do. Well, we're going to cruise for chicks. Well, we're going to have chicks. We just we just have ducks in Canyon Gate, so don't worry about it. Gene actually bought Dale. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s race car. Did he oh, really? Oh, so my gosh. You guys are going to have to come check that out and possibly uh, go racing that. I'm sure you'll get a lot of hot chicks on that one. Sounds like a lot of fun. You Listen, but, Roxy, thank yeah. you so much for calling in. And uh, we will see you Sunday night then at our house, okay? Oh, thank you so much. You we'll and Gene Woods, thanks a lot. Yay. Okay. And if you're just tuning in now, you're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. And we are on KLAV 1230 a.m. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So give us a call.
Call 702-731-1230, and we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Oh, yeah. I'm to ready, Sandy ready. Castell and Friends. The phone lines are open at 702-731-1230. Now, here again, your host, Sandy Castell. Holy cow, what was that? Somebody's sick. Uh, if you're just tuning in now, you're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. You know what, Chef Michael? Turn off that phone. Don't you know yet how to turn off your phone? My goodness. Um, you know, this Wednesday night, we are going to be performing at Siena's Authentic Italian Trattoria, and that's 9500 West Sahara, just west of Fort Apache. And if you want to come and see us, our show begins at 8 p.m., but you need to come, well, if you, if you want to go to dinner and you want to get a good seat uh, come at 730 call and make a reservation 702-360-3358 that's 702-360-3358 for reservations for Wednesday night and we have Jimmy Molidor who's going to be joining us there Wednesday night we're so excited about that he's a fabulous saxophonist and of course he's been around town for a long time and he's played with some of the great great entertainers the legends of our time that's and right because I love Jimmy Molidor because Jimmy Melodore is a pain in my ass. But I love Jimmy because he's my butt. No, I'm only kidding. Jimmy is great because, you know, and I got to tell you, Jimmy and I are alike in a lot of ways because, you know, we're, we're, we're top musicians. And it's a, it's a hard gig because when you play with us, you got to swing, man. You yeah, got to swing. Yeah, yeah, And it's true. It's true. As Chad Michaels will tell you and Lou Lace and uh, Spider Spider-Man. and uh, Joey Vespi, you know, you uh, push those tempos, push those tempos because you don't lay back on a song. You just push them, right? Uh, we've got Fernando on the line. Fernando, Hi, Fernando. Fernando. How are you? Good morning, everybody. Good oh, morning. Hi, buddy. I'm pretty good. I just wanted to thank you guys for the um, Jazzy Jazz Sunday tickets. Had a wonderful time. Oh, good. And um, I saw the Indiana Rain video. Be- beautifully done. Oh, thank you. Beautifully done. And then I switched over to um, Chef Mike's video. And he was flexing his muscles in the mirror. <laughs> And then I turned it off. <laughs> All right, Fernando. You know, I, I you know I love you. you no, know, you Hispanic people were very close to me. I went out with one Hispanic girl in my life. She danced around my hat for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so Fernando, thank you so Thanks, much. Okay, so, okay, okay, guys, I'm enjoying the show. Are thank you guys you. coming on Wednesday? Are you coming on Wednesday? No, I got to take my mom to bingo. To bingo? Oh <laughs> my God! Now we got to have bingo for you to come. <laughs> Thanks, All right, Fernando. well, listen, you have fun at bingo, okay? Thanks, buddy. okay, thank you, guys. Thanks so a lot. Nice. See, okay. see, every people are out there, and you, you know, they, they people call in. And there's so many people that get up in the morning that they got nothing better to do. They go to the bathroom, they take their Maylocks or whatever the frig they take, and they go to the bathroom and they come out and they say let me put on KLAV 1230 and let's see what the hell Sandy Castell and <laughs> Chef Michael is up to today and it's well, a great feeling yes honey I gotta tell you honey um, I, I just want to do a couple a couple songs on Wednesday and and so I brought some of them with Jeez, me stop banging and the I want to just well I just want to give you oh, the impact of how many ass. there are here's my list of songs that I want to do for Wednesday night oh my god <laughs> let's see Farmer in the Dell the old Gray Mare. <laughs> it's oh, just a few songs, like gee. about 100 pages Run long. Run into here. the mirror, into the, the dad's jazz mom country. What is this crap? What Why is this? It's my songs. It's my song list. See, I've got uh, the roles women play, women in the mirror, Broadway show yeah, intro, Don't Rain on My Parade, Sweet Charity Medley. Oh, they beautiful. could see me now. Yeah, if they could see me now. Maybe about this other, time. I hate that friggin' song. Woman in the Mirror. Remember the mirror? How about the guy on the toilet? What yeah, about that one listen, there? Listen, that's one of my original tunes. Uh, well, but no, no, every kidding is Aside, every kidding, kidding aside, every kidding aside, kidding aside, kidding aside, all kidding aside. Um, you know, we're working on a show, and uh, it's funny because Michael has his show that he did at the Riviera. Riviera, that twenty-two was years something ago, different. something different. And if you go to YouTube, you can see that show on yeah. online. Yeah, and just it's put really Michael Lynette at the Riviera, and you will see him in his prime. In my prime, I was forty, was 40 years, years old. Was a handsome and son he keeps of a saying bitch, he boy. looks so different, but he looks the same to no, me. No, I don't. No, and no. to all the other people out there that see you, because. Well, because 
you know what? We look past whatever it is that you think has changed in your face and uh, in your hair. Listen, from 40 <laughs> years old. And we see the energy well, that the you energy, have. That's i got to right. tell you, I was talking to uh, John today uh, from uh, Ken Foote's band. Oh, yeah. The drummer. And, and I said to him, I said, there'll be a day when I'm going to hang up the sticks. Right, you know, not I mean, soon, though. Not soon. But there's a time. And I've been very fortunate to be 62 years old and have that energy. My mother said something to me. She says, you know, Mike, even a train stops. I said, Mom, what do you mean by that? Ew. She said, even a train stops. What that means is that, you know, there's a time when you have to say, you know, it's it's over. There's some people out there that cannot face it's the parade passed them by and they still want to be there. You know, it's sad. There's sometimes you have to step back and let somebody else take it in. And someone said to me, maybe you can teach. You can start <laughs> teaching. Which is good. And I'm a terrible teacher because I'm rough. I'm telling you What do you something. mean? You go to work and teach every day. True. But, I, but yeah, I'm rough. And, yeah. and I got two, 20, 30 people in front that's of me right. every day. That's right. And I'll say, I'll, and that's how I open it. I say, I'm a producer, director. Now what I'm about to tell you, don't, be, don't feel bad. Okay. I want you, thank you, I want you, thank you, no thanks here, this is what I do, you know, and I place them in different spots, because the, the word discernment is very important, you know, because uh, 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 fortunately it costs me a tremendous amount of money, to, because I have to license them through the Real Estate Commission, there's a lot that needs to be done, so I try to pick those people that really know what to do, and and the average salary, these people make three, four hundred dollars a day. I think he's talking about something different besides being a musician. Oh yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the musicians, I really enjoy that, I'm having a lot of fun, you know what I mean? No, Most but guys also are, now you're a comic. No, I'm not a comic. I was you're never a comic. You're just funny. You're just funny. I'm a funny guy. Funny? Right. How am I funny? That's Do right. I like a clown? Do I amuse you? Do I amuse you? Anyway, so uh, we're excited about Wednesday night. Yes. We're also excited that we're putting some things together with uh, Jimmy Molador and with some other great musicians, and uh, we'll be telling you more about that late, 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 later, a little, little, little later as we move along. But for this week, we are going to be Wednesday night at Siena's Authentic Italian Trattoria, 9500 West Sahara. So join us over there. Call 702-360-3358 for reservations. You know what? I think we've got a caller. It's Galen Bird. Hi. Hi, Galen. How are you? Hi, Sandy. How are you this morning? Good, good. It's so funny. You know, I've been thinking about you for the past couple of days, and I, I kept thinking, I've got to give her a call, got to give her a call, got to give her a call. Uh -huh. I've seen your picture, Galen, and I've been thinking about you, too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and then I called her this morning, and she says, you know what? I, I've been thinking about you, too. It's so true. Yesterday, I was just looking at, in for your, at all your information, and you were so on my heart. It's been like this last past week, but yesterday, I literally pulled out your card, and I was... Um, um, I have a break here and a uh -oh. right now, and so, but I'm like, when I got home, I was going to just sit down and and give you a call, so I so enjoyed myself when I was there. You guys have so much energy, energy positive energy there in the studio, so Thank it you. was just a great experience, and the musical guests you had on there, it was just, the whole show was <laughs> fabulous. I had a blast. Well, I just <laughs> want to talk a little bit about you, okay? You have Momentum okay. 3, Spirit, Nutrition, and Exercise, Rejuvenating, Empowering Attitudes and Lives. And your website is www.momentum3fitness.com. And the reason I, I thought it'd be great to talk with you this morning, I know you've got one of your clients with you right now, and uh, you said you've been working out with her for a while. What's her name? Yes, her name is Liz, and um, she's just this amazing woman. And I'll let her um, just give a little bit of her testimony. Oh, okay. If you're ready to talk with her now, sure. or if you have some more questions for me. Well, let's, so we get, Liz on. On. let's li get Liz okay. on. And hi, Liz, Super. how are you? Hey, Sandy. Um, my name is Liz, and I am so excited to be with you today. Uh, I actually called out into the universe and asked for a coach. I asked for a life coach. And it wasn't even 24 hours before I met Galen at the gym oh. on a machine. And uh, I, I didn't have to think, oh, I wonder if I should do this. <sighs> oh, my goodness. I just said to her, um, I'm looking for a life coach, and she said, you know, that's what I do. That's great. I'm going to be 69 years old in a few weeks. Oh, congratulations. I'm Happy birthday. <laughs> Early birthday. Thank you. Thank you. So every day I'm very excited about going to the gym and staying healthy, but at the time I met 
Galen, I really needed some help. I needed some support in several different ways. And I would just like to encourage any listeners right now, if you're sitting there, you're feeling sluggish, you're feeling like maybe I just don't like myself because I don't like the way I look, I don't have the energy I want, I just need some help. I need someone that cares about me. I need someone that takes a personal, literally a personal interest in me as a personal trainer. That's great. And if that is what you as a listener are looking for, I can tell you uh, the months that I've trained with Galen have been extraordinary. There's a new facet to our relationship that we find that is empowering for her and me as well. We're able to give and take energy as needed. You can't find that with any trainer anywhere. Well, Liz, so it's, so, it's, <laughs> it's so important because part of part of my uh, plan is to bring everybody together and uh, in this program called Staying Fit and Fabulous Forever. And when I met Gay Lynn, she immediately, she and I immediately clicked. And I just felt that she'd be really a, a great person to be in this program because she's out there doing exactly what you said. And she's helping women uh, and, and I'm sure men of all ages stay fit and fabulous forever. So let's get let's get Gay Lynn back on the phone. And thank you so much, Liz, for thank your you, testimonial. Liz. I appreciate it. That was beautiful. You know, the same thing, uh, life coaches, uh, Carl Grosso and myself, Dr. <laughs> Perry, and Jolay. Well, there's different kind of life no, coaches. No, no, wait a minute. We did the same thing a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And we, because, you know, we felt sluggish and down, yes, yes. just like Liz. Yes. And sure enough, we got phone calls. We got four calls from the IRS, <laughs> two from the <laughs> district attorney's <laughs> office. <laughs> and 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 when Dr. Perry called, he got two calls from Palm Mortuary. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So listen, the jokes never end with you. <laughs> I, I know, I know. And he says he's not a comic. Anyway, right. Gay Lynn, tell us, give yes. us your three tips of what you would tell our listening audience uh, while you're up here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three tips that they can uh, just jump right on. Is yes. First of all, fill your heart with gratitude. When you wake up in the morning, I like to put something very positive immediately into my heart and soul. Secondly, you need to start drinking water immediately. Yes, yes. Our body needs water. And this is something simple. Get rid of the pop. I'm from Michigan. <laughs> okay, soda pop. Take all the sugary drinks out of your diet. Got it. Because, and you, it just needs to become a ritual. <laughs> when you wake up, it's not a, you. Think about it. When you brush your teeth in the morning, nobody thinks about brushing their teeth. It's a ritual. They just right. do it. That's it's right. The same thing. Right. So put something positive in. Start okay. drinking your water immediately. Yes. And then we. I even sit on the because I'm 52. I sit on the edge of my bed and I move my feet. I turn my toes. In, turn my toes out, internal, external rotation if you want to get technical, flex my feet, and I just kind of roll my shoulders because there's nothing like proper body alignment. When you're in not, when you're not in good alignment, it leads to inefficient movement or injury. And I want the biggest bang for one punch with all of my clients, with all the people that I go out and speak to. I speak to corporations, groups, individuals, because my whole mission is empowering and equipping individuals to just jumpstart lasting lifestyle changes. This is not just for the moment. It's step by step, moment by moment, victory by victory. And that's why and it's and called it's Momentum 3, Spirit, yeah, Nutrition, and Exercise. And you know mm -hmm. something, Gaylene, I'm glad yeah. you mentioned about the water, because I do have a problem drinking water. I don't drink enough, yeah. so Sandy bought me a garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> and I, Listen, I it up, and I shoved the nozzle up right my now. nose. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Gaylene, for calling oh, in. Great. It's oh, always good you. to have you on the show. Thank oh, you. anytime. Anything for you, Sandy. And, I just and I'm looking forward to you. getting together. Okay? okay? Thank you so Sounds much. Good. Have a great day. And yeah. again, right. you can find out about Gaylin Bird at www.momentum3fitness.com or give her a call at 702-545-5124. That's 702-545-5124 and learn more about Momentum 3 and get yourself started on this wonderful program. I asked Carl Grosso. And if you're just tuning in now, <laughs> you're listening to Sandy <laughs> Castell and Friends Variety Show with, with Chef Carl Michael Grosso. talking about Carl Grosso. <laughs> but we will be right back after a message from our sponsors. I gotta tell you what he Vegas told me. Rods, you be sure back. to listen to the Sandy Castell Show and Friends and Chef Michael every day. 
Welcome back to Sandy Castell and Friends. The phone lines are open at 702-731-1230. Now, here again, your host, Sandy Castell. Hi, and welcome back to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. So, like I was saying about Carl Grosso. What about Carl Grosso? I asked him, because Gaylene, what did she say? Gaylene, yes. Gaylene, Gaylene. She said, drink more water. Well, beside that. And she she said said to wake up and fill your heart with gratitude. So, I said to Carl, all jokes aside, cut the bullshit, really. What do you, Carl, what do you do in the morning? You know, besides, look at your wife in in, in all, because he's so much in love with this girl's incredible. Elizabeth Taylor's granddaughter. Yes. He says, Mike, (laughs) truthfully and honestly, I get up in the morning, I open up my savings account, (laughs) and I bust in the song. It's a wonderful day like today. And that's why he is full of gratitude. Well, you know. Because he's worth billions. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, whether you're worth billions or millions or just uh, a few pennies, uh, the fact is that you can be grateful for your life and all True. the good that we have around us, our family and friends. Yes. And uh, we have a lot of extended family, too. And that's just like we talk about the Grossos, the Pascals, yes. you know, Jolet, Perico. I, I know I probably leave people out. I don't mean to. Robert Gordy Jr., you know, Monique Brewster, all the gang, oh, the Motown gang, T. Fox, you know, over at Fiesta. We love them. Sherry Gordy's group. Uh, she has a big show over there every Thursday night, and we want to invite everybody to join us over there. I think they've got a big event coming up this uh, this Thursday yes. where they're celebrating. Mm. Right. And uh, they may have some big names over there. We can't drop any names, but somebody like Stevie Wonder might be by. Might be um, by. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, also, uh, this Wednesday, we are going to be performing at Siena's Italian Authentic Trattoria. And I just want to say, you know, Giancarlo is such a great guy. He is. He's got the deli on the other side and it's really great and uh, he's got a lot of uh, Italian pastas, a lot of Italian dishes, uh, a lot of olive oil, and special things that they make. He, they have a bakery there, and they make all these wonderful cookies. So you got to go over there and try it out. But definitely call 702-360-3358 for reservations for Wednesday night. That's 702-360-3358. And, Michael, I put together, again, I just wanted to show you this short list of songs that I put together for you. Short. It's just a, just a few songs that I'd like to sing this weekend, if it's okay with you. Could you look through them and just make sure that they're okay to sing this weekend? There's so anyway, only, I want everybody to know pages here. that Sandy Castell <laughs> makes coffee nervous. <laughs> unbelievable. This girl, unbelievable. But anyway, we're going to have a well, great time. Well, you know, I've only been singing one song you know, right. and everybody said, well, Sandy, you have to sing a little bit yeah, more. Per, yeah. So i got to sing at least one more song. So Well, you we know something? I'm looking at the clock <laughs> and this, I can't believe it was just me and you today. It was a great time. Uh, you know, just and, me and you. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, right, me. John? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's nice to have a bunch of people. We really appreciate that. Oh, yeah, that. yeah. But here it gives us a time. I didn't bring my guitar. I didn't get a chance to sing I a song. I know, I know. You know, and, you know, we got great sponsors but I have that are out CDs. there. Did you well, bring you, your 45? What's that? I, I got a 45. <laughs> anyway, you can't spin this you 45. You got to carry it. What? We've got to get that transferred over to CD, to a CD, so that we can have Ryan play it for us. Right, here. that would be kind of nice. It, it was so many called There'll Never Be Another You. There will but be you many know what? other nice. I got to like tell everybody, singing. if you go to YouTube and you look up Michael Leonetti at the Riviera, you can see his whole entire show. There are key, are highlights from that, right. and you can see him drumming and playing the piano. But also, there's a lot of different videos of him now yes. since you've been with me. Yeah, of course. And, <laughs> and we've been playing at the, we played at the um, Hacienda Del Rey. We've played at the Siena's Deli. We played right. at Siena Italian Authentic Trattoria. You know, you'd be Trattoria. Su- you'd be su- but we also played at the West Wing Cigar in. Lounge. And there's a lot of videos out there now because, oh, in the Ve- Viva Las Vegas Event Center yeah. we sang. And now there's video up of you doing stand-up yeah. on YouTube. Like my mother said to me. <laughs> she said, Michael, you'd be surprised what you're doing a lifetime. That's right. What you don't do today. You do. My mother's still alive. Thank God. She's rolling meatballs at 85 years old. <laughs> But you know, also I want to invite, I want to thank uh, Gay Lynn and yes. uh, Roxy Davis for yes. calling in today because uh, they're part of the Staying Fit and Fabulous Forever program. And even though Chef Michael does joke, he does get out and do a lot of walking when he's washing the cars at the morning at five o'clock in the morning, and he's washing those cars. We've got four cars, and he's out there washing them, washing them down. He goes out, he cleaned the backyard the other day, and you got everything ready. Well, it's I'm a so domestic nice. kind of a guy, you know. I love. I'm a 
house. You know, house rolling the house. those amid the balls. Uh, yes, very good. Well, we had a great time. <laughs> we love you. John Styles, our cameraman, we cannot thank you enough. And Ryan, Ryan, and Ryan thank you so much. Get back to elementary school, you yeah, son yeah, of yeah. a bitch. And, of course, the staff here at KLAV, including John Lindquist, Irma, and uh, and Sue, and uh, Robin, and Daryl and Davidian, yes. and everybody, and Diane Fox, Diane all of our Fox. team. We want to thank everybody for joining us and being part of the Santa Castell and Friends Variety Show here on KLAV. We will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. KLAV, 1230 a.m. Ciao. You're dead, Carl, when I get you. Woo!